fastening a hand line, the flat side goes against the palm of your hand. This is the casting end, okay? And the way I have this rigged is 100 feet of about a 100 pound test braid that's going down to, a, I don't know, a couple of hundred yards of uh, 20 pound test braid. And that's their main line. And it goes all the way down here to a, a loop here, dropper loop, that goes to 20 pound test main line monofilament, right? Bait back here, rattle float up here. You want to hold it above the dropper loop, because if you hold it down here, this thing's going to get caught in your face, going to get caught in your throat, and you're going to bleed and die. Peel off about, I don't know, about somewhere about the arm length of line. First, you're going to point this beveled edge toward where you're going to fish, toward where you're going to cast. Right there, all the way to the ditch there. I don't know how long that is. I don't know, 50 feet maybe, 30 feet. I don't have to cast a lot because I do a lot of drifting and trolling. And that's how you wind it back on. Uh, there's, there, there's nothing more sensitive than these fingertips, guys. I'm telling you. Another method you can do Take your reel, set it on the ground or in a five gallon bucket, and you just hold your hand up like this, right? Same basic principle. And it, what, what this is gonna do, we'll kind of have it coming over like this. All right, uh, now the, your, your, your hand, this pan becomes like the guide on your fishing rod. So once again, um, you just, Ah, you'll get a rope burn every now and again if it slips on you. <laughs> That's the reason why you wear gloves with this. Another technique is to, just like a fly fisherman, go ahead and peel off a bunch of line. This is a messy way to do it. I hate doing it this way because the only thing you're doing in the, doing is getting a bunch of lines tangled and stuff. Just pick up here and, uh, right? and it's just completely free form. There's no resistance, uh, there's no drag basically, unless the line itself. Best way to do that technique was again, put it in a, like a five gallon bucket and just peel off a bunch of line, cast it. Make sure you wear gloves. You can get plenty of distance on here. I'm just going easy now because I'm just here in the yard and I don't have the gloves on. I don't want to get a bunch of rope burns and get cuts and things. So uh, take that and get you one of these reels. Uh, I found them on eBay. You, can, you shouldn't have to pay more than about $3 for one of these reels. Uh, very good things. Call the Cuban yo-yo. Works pretty well. It's just simpler, easier. A uh, lot less equipment. It's dirt cheap. Line is cheap. Rods and reels are incredibly expensive. $3 save $275 for the rod, for the reel. I forget how much for the line. I make my own lures and bait harnesses and I make my own weights here swivel and you're good to go you can keep it in the truck and uh, i don't have to worry about it breaking like you saw with my graphite rod and uh, nothing's more sensitive than these fingertips